hearts should always be honest and sincere when we serve the Lord on a daily basis. Now, I don't mean being cruel or being mean in your attempt to be honest with someone, but I mean remembering God's word and respecting his name when we are interacting with one another. For example, giving forgiveness when it feels like it's an impossible thing to do. Are showing a little patience with your children when you've had to tell them to do that same thing for the 10th time. Or when you're at the grocery store and that sales clerk gives you an attitude and you show them kindness anyway. Psalms 86, 11 and 12 says, teach me your way, Lord, so that I may rely on your faithfulness. Give me an undivided heart so that I may fear your name. I will praise you, Lord my God, with all my heart, and I will glorify your name forever. We'll see you next week when I bring you another vision statement from Pastor Spence. Declare the destiny of the nation. Yes, we can. I just wanted to take a few seconds just to recognize Black History Month. This is also the first time that we're recognizing Black History Month in our new building. But I kind of wanted to reflect back just a little bit and remind you that Black History Month isn't just about remembering slavery. Black History Month is about remembering the many facets of the people of our culture. Meaning, we have engineers, doctors, authors, Nobel Prize winners. We have so many individuals that have made some incredible accomplishments that we should all be proud of. So as you think about Black History Month, as you teach others about Black History Month, remember to be proud because we have so much to be proud for. Take care. We'll see you next time. Brother, we can't quit. And one day we on the Red Hills of Georgia, say it loud, sons of former slaves.